Good morning. It is now time for another life lesson from God's Word. Let's pick up our reading, Colossians chapter 1 and verse 6. Which has come to you as it also in all the world, and is bringing forth fruit, as it is also among you since the day you heard and knew the grace of God in truth. There are people who are losing hope today. They're losing hope that people will obey the gospel. They are losing hope that if they tell the truth of the God's word, people won't listen. And the, the truth of the matter is people are searching. People do want to know what God wants from them. They do want to know how to serve God accept, acceptably. They do want to honor God in their lives. There are people who are searching for answers that we know. And the same gospel that produced fruits in the time that Paul lived, he, he produced it from his preaching also, Epaphras is teaching in verse 7. He's the one that uh, presumably taught the Colossians. It will also bring fruit today if we just give it to the people so they can make their own decision, so they can learn about God and so they can know the truth of the matter. So let us not neglect to, to tell people about the goodness of the gospel, how it brings freedom from our past sins and gives hope for the future. Let us pray this morning. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we're grateful for this day and the many blessings that you have given to us. We're grateful for your Son and our Savior who came to this earth so long ago, suffered and bled and died that we may have the hope of eternal life. Father, we pray that you'll help us to spread this good news so others can have freedom from sin and a hope for a better future, that they can lean upon your promises, that they can trust in your word. Father, we pray in all things that it may be honored and glorified by how we conduct our, our lives on this earth. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. We truly hope that we've been a blessing this morning. If we can help you in any way with your walk with the Lord, please let us know. Feel free to contact us. We'd be glad to hear from you. Come again tomorrow for another life lesson from God's Word.